Hi guys, in this video, I'll show you how to connect your MIDI controller to Studio One or whichever you know software that you're using. So you just bought your new MIDI controller and you can make, you know create a sound in your project in your DAW DAW. So here's what you do: you want to make sure that you have your MIDI controller set up and on before you turn on your DAW or software. All right, so go ahead and create a song. You can do this first. What you're gonna do? All right, and here once I'm in Studio One, well you just go into Options of the whichever um, software that you're using and of course you need to have your audio set up here and right now you can see that mine is set up to Windows Audio so that's where I'm going to hear my audio coming up from right so what we're going to do is you're going to go into well, external devices and add one external devices which is going to be your MIDI controller so right now um, I'm going to add on a new keyboard I'm going to call it the Samsung Graphite 2 about 25 since I'm using that one here. I'm going to receive it from Samsung Graphite 25 because that's what is connected to my computer right now. Depending on what you have connected to your computer, depending on the MIDI controller that you have, well, M Audio, Samsung, or whichever MIDI controller you have, you might see it here. If not, well, turn it on and restart your software. Okay? So once you have that, well, sense can be set to none. Is that alright? Okay, okay. And that's it. Now I'm going to remove Kirik 49 because I'm not using this anymore and this will be just only redundant here. Move it. And here we go. We have Sensen 25. So I'm going to click on reconnect. Okay. Alright. So now when I click on my MIDI control, you can see that the MIDI buttons here lights up like that. Alright. When I press on it. So I'm going to click OK. And basically the next thing to do is to go into instruments. Well, I'm in Studio One, so depending on your software again, yeah. So I'm gonna go in instruments, um, go and select something like Presence, and throw it down here, and there you go. So from here on, load up an instrument, and I apparently don't have any instruments right now installed on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in another well software instrument called let's say the Mojito. Okay, this is a scene. And then we have presets. So let's say I go and choose a preset like bass slit. And basically when I click on my keyboard right now, you'll hear sound coming in true. Okay. The next thing to the last thing to check is to check your inputs to your instrument. So well I mean mojito, yeah. So I have to turn on the record. If not, I can't hear anything, of course, and the monitor. And again, the last thing to check is your inputs. So are your inputs coming from the Samsung Graphite 25 or not? Or it's coming from all inputs to make things simple well this is set to default as all inputs okay and that's it that's how you connect your midi controller to your software now if you ever want to learn uh, more midi controlling and also midi composing on a computer well feel free to come to our site and join the course um composing music with midi all right and i'll see you inside the course thanks for watching and i'll see you again